Hey guys, so if you're in the pattern design industry, you're probably very familiar with spoon flower and you're also probably very familiar with the word seamless. Now, I create my patterns using the pattern tool in Adobe Illustrator because I think it makes things so much easier. I honestly would probably get confused trying to do it a different way. However, when it comes to exporting your pattern for Spoonflower, their instructions are a little misleading and confusing in my opinion. I spent hours and hours trying to get my patterns ready and I finally found a super simple solution. I'm gonna teach you how to do it. So, let's say you have your Illustrator file opened up with your patterns on it. From here, all you're gonna go is window swatches. You're gonna choose your pattern, just drag it onto the workspace. And you're gonna see a shape in there. It might be a rectangle or a square or your pattern might be way bigger than mine. Doesn't matter. All you're gonna do is double click. You're gonna highlight that shape. You can go object, artboards, convert to artboards. Now that you have that, it's either ready to go or you want a color. And I need a color for mine. So I'm just gonna make a square and you wanna make sure your colored shape, square, whatever you use is bigger than the artboard. Um, I'm gonna choose red, object, arrange, send to back. And now all you gotta do is export your file. and you wanna make sure that you export it from that artboard specifically, because that's your seamless pattern. And I usually use JPEG. I know Spoonflower accepts TIFF files and a few other types. Now, when this pops up, the last thing you need to do under anti-aliasing is click None and your pattern is ready for spoon flower. Super simple, I hope you guys find this super simple as well. Um, if you need to check it, I can leave directions under this video about how to check your pattern to make sure it is print ready, but if you follow these steps correctly, it should be 100% good to go.